Okay, so I have been making a project for a while now and I'm stuck at a point where I wanted to make something that really looks stylized. So I don't want to have some kind of like realistic renders or anim animation for the project that I'm doing. I wanted to have like stylized style of the animation. So the problem is, uh, if you know, I have been doing all these kind of like uh, tutorials about like how to give painterly look to uh, objects using shaders, but I didn't want to use shaders. What I wanted to do was use some kind of like a filter which can be done in the compositing mode and I wanted to have it uh, done on the whole image after it renders so that it is easier for me to just you know use it on the whole video because otherwise I would have to do a different kind of approach where I have to put it on shaders every time I put an object on the scene and it will become a problem it will be time consuming so I have been working on a solution and I have been watching this uh, youtuber for a while and he told me about this Kuwahara filter and it is amazing by the way you should check out this channel like it is amazing it has become like one of the things that I want to binge so definitely check it out and to my surprise I just learned that there's some kind of thing that really exists in blender okay so this is my scene and as you can see this is just uh, I don't know some guy actually this is me but uh, I lack in like realistic things uh, that I wanted to have in this so I settled for a stylistic animation but anyway uh, this is the big project that I'm working on so yeah so what I did was I rendered this scene okay so after rendering I had this uh, you can go to compositing mode and if you click on use notes and uh, you would be able to see it and if you add viewer so that you can see your scene as I can do here and as you can see it is looking really cartoony but it is really looking without any like unique thing it is just looking like a lame render at least to me it is so so yeah so here comes the main thing that I was talking about and I don't know why I didn't know about this but there's a filter called Kubahara filter and if you put this in your image you would get this kind of this kind of painterly look and actually if you would watch that video that I told you it would tell you a lot of things about it but basically what it does is uh, kind of like a denoising thing which is also giving us this painterly look but what I did was something beyond this so if you're okay with this just that's fine go ahead with this because it is giving a whole filter and that's the uh, thing that I love about it like it is not a shader that you have to put it in each and everything so that's a good thing about it but it is all, almost like a Photoshop filter right so what I did was like added some more things on it because I wanted to make it look even better than this because it is not satisfying me <laughs> okay so what I added was um, wait yeah so what I added in this was a posturized filter which is also here okay so you add a posturized filter it is looking really terrible right now it is looking like well if you're going for this look that's great but I wanted to give it a little bit so it is I don't know if you can see what it is doing but it is it is making it look more like a cartoony thing like it is not giving smooth gradients that's what helps to have this kind of like a cartoony look cartoony paint painterly whatever you want to say but after this what I added was like two more filters uh, 
one is soften. Wait. So yeah, so I added a filter, which is called filter because it has uh, several filters like this. So you have to, uh, you can duplicate one. And the first one would be shadow. And the second one would be um, soften. Yeah. So you can add it in front. And then you can decrease it about like 0.5 or 0.4 so around here. And that's about it. So right now, as you can see, it is looking much better than uh, what it was before. So if I show you, if I connect it here, as you can see, this is looking a little lame. But after like doing this, it is look it, it it has lost a little bit of details. But I didn't need that much details to be begin with because it is not going to remain in this same frame. I'm going to do something else. So yeah, there you go. It's something I really did. So if you like it, uh, please like and subscribe. And I also have like a different way, uh, which is by the way I actually added in this um, in this model, which is like. Ha uh, like uh, changing the normals using uh, some kind of like shaders so I don't know if you can see but uh, it is there so if you want to check that to give painterly look using that uh, which is actually way better than this then click on the uh, click on the video I think it will be on the right side yeah okay if you want to support me you can support me on patreon but other than that, I hope you have a great time. I hope it helps.